so guys we could um I remember this uh, video where we explained how Laravel search folder structure works right now uh, we could start creating the files one by one normally the way to create Laravel file a uh, project is you create the files manually individually you come here and create a model file manually then you create a controller file manually then you come to the routes folder and manually add the link and come to this place and manually create the, the, the file so this takes a lot of time so uh, but we, we don't have that time we want to be able to build large applications fast and more effectively so we're gonna use a system called um, a system to automatically generate all the files that we need so that we can just go in and do most of the work in the view which is basically arranging them to do that um, we, we need to we need to visit this URL labs.infiom.com slash laravel generator then docs uh, slash 5.5 installation now remember that initially we started with 5.6 uh, laravel 5.6 that was what we installed um, but if you look at this generator we want to use it only works for one 5.1 to 5.5 so it doesn't work for 5.6 version which means that uh, we may need to downgrade our version because Laravel 5.6 is still like a few days old and um, the final version is not even out so uh, by the time you're watching this video maybe the final version is out basically if you come to this place and you see um, that there is a Laravel 5.6 here then you use the 5.6 version but otherwise um, you can use the 5.5 version which means we have to go downgrade our Laravel to use 5.5 when you downgrade your Laravel you basically not notice any much uh, difference so that's what we're gonna do um, so to install this we're gonna install this package once we install it it will help us to automatically generate files going forward so the first thing we need to do is to go to a composer.json file and install this so we copy we look for the require section in our composer.json file so we look a composer.json file look for require section composer.json file look for require section and we we'll paste this alright then the next thing you can do remember if you're using all that lower versions of laravel you can see the way to install them here then we have to install this too in case we ever need to uh, document our apis we copy that then we add it to this place and then the next thing we do uh, is further down we, we add this doctrine debug to the same require section so and that's it we're done and the next level is to do composer updates but before we run it on our command line before we run composer updates we want to make sure that laravel installation itself is on 5. Point. instead of look at laravel framework instead of 5.6 we're going to change it to 5.5 the reason is so that the rest of this will work with laravel 5.5 all right, now we are done with this. We can now um, come to our command line and run composer update. Then chill. Make sure you're connected to the internet, and then this could take between a uh, few seconds to few minutes. So relax and let it uh, work its way out. For me, I'm gonna pause this video until the uh, installation is over. All right, we're done with the composer update. In the next video, we will continue the installation of the Laravel generator.